CTE is that the math teachers have learned what CTE teachers are doing and CTE teachers have found a better way and uh, they, every time we've met now the last three times since last summer we see teachers who come back with more and more ideas, better teaching strategies and so we have a cohesiveness now that takes place between those two teachers in the school and we have better lessons being developed because they're following the elements of, a, of, a, of an effective lesson plan. And so they're working together. So as they bring these things together, our common goal in, with math and CTE is to help our school, the students, increase their math scores and their math per proficiency so that then when they go out in the world, whether it's college or the workplace or even right at home, that, both, that they have the math skills that they need to be successful. Uh, part of the reason we got into this math and CTE program is we wanted to be able to show that we in CTE support the effort in teaching academics in our school. And probably no one teaches the application and relevance of the academics better than CTE does. And so we, we got involved in the math and CTE program in our school district. We brought family consumer science teachers together with the math teacher in their own school counterpart and the real benefit to it is the collaboration and the working together with these two groups in finding better ways to teach the math concepts that are taught in our, our family consumer science classes. My name is Shelley Barnum and this is Tracy Anderson. We're teachers at Desert Hills Middle School. I am a FACTS teacher, which stands for Family and Consumer Science, and Tracy is my math partner. And uh, when we met in June, we looked at our scope and sequence, and um, after we had developed our lessons, we decided to take it one step further. And I take the curriculum that she will be teaching and introduce it in Bell Work the week before she teaches it. And then Shelly brought me tape measures and seam gauges that we used to measure. Not only did we do projects um, for our bell work, but we used those same materials in the classroom. Coming from the vocational perspective, it's been very beneficial for me and for my students in a, in a variety of ways. First, it's helped me as the teacher know the correct vocabulary and terminology to be using when teaching these concepts in my classes. So I'm using the same terminology that Tracy's using in her classes. I get a lot of students coming in and saying, hey, we just did this in math last week. And they're seeing those connections, that math is real and that it's used in everyday life. Um, I just, it's been very beneficial for me because I know that I can get on the phone and call Tracy and if I have a question, I've got that support system right here in my school. And one of the biggest benefits that I've seen is that my students no longer say, when am I ever going to use this? I can take a story problem and I can make it with pineapple juice and orange juice and apple juice and how to make a drink and the kids just whip right through it. But if I change that to a cell phone plan or something that doesn't relate to facts, they have a tendency to gripe about the applications. Um, I've really enjoyed the fact that when we did several of our projects, the students didn't want to use rulers. They wanted to use the seam gauges. They wanted to use the tape measures because it made more sense to them and it was a real life application.
I'm going to hand you a McDonald's menu and I'm going to hand you a paper. Okay? I want you to go through, I don't care if you have breakfast, I don't care if you have lunch. If I were getting it, it'd be a Big Mac large fries, probably a McFlurry. I had that for dinner, I had that for dinner last night. Okay? So, okay, so first of all, figure out how many calories you should eat as a person. Then look at, and you'll have to kind of work together because I didn't have enough for everybody. So go through really quick, figure out your calories that you just ate if you had gone to McDonald's. I think it makes math easier by seeing it in both situations and knowing like when I'm going to use it later in life. Uh, it makes math a whole lot easier because you can see it in two places in foods and in math class. Okay, so my waistband is three fourths of an inch, so I need to add an, a fourth of an inch to make the casing. Yep, that's right. I love doing fractions and clothing because it makes me understand why I'm learning math. It makes me see that it can happen in real life. see the test results will really increase and we will see that CTE is a very important part of supporting the academic side of the education community. 